Hey guys, our premiere. All right, this video, I want to go through my Dogecoin profits from my Antminer L7, which I've been mining on Unminable now for the past pretty much week. And I'm just gonna have to say that it seems like it's been pretty underwhelming. And so this video, I wanted to go through the uh, differences in the like past 24 hour rewards especially on like litecoinpool.org, which I was on before. And now I've moved back to litecoinpool.org because I want to do a comparison against, you know, what I've been getting on Unminable, right? Mining into Dogecoin. And so we're going to do comparisons and the prices here in this video and all that good stuff. So before we do that, this video is sponsored by Crypto Miner Bros. They are the ones who sent me the Antminer L7 uh, 9.3 Giga hash model. And a lot of you know that I'm doing this theoretical test of seeing how long it will take to get the money back on at least $10,000. And I guess including the electric as well. So a lot of you guys know I've been doing all these types of tests on different ASIC miners. So thank you to CryptoMinerBros.com if you guys are interested. So majority of you have probably seen the video called I'm doing it around six days ago where I said I was mining to unminable for my L7 here. And I did that, okay? So I can show you here payments that I've been getting in Dogecoin, okay? So it is mining Litecoin, merge mining Dogecoin on unminable, and then unminable is then switching the Litecoin into Dogecoin, all right? And so I just wanna go through here, you know, let's just go through this first payment I got, 290 Dogecoin on that first day. So for instance, as of right now, that 290, I was getting, that would be worth about $28.13, right? As of right now, you can see the next day I got 260. So let's put that in. That's about 25.2 USD worth as of right now. Let's go to the next day, 295. So that looks like a little bit more on the third day. That's about $28.6 worth USD worth right now. All right, so as we go along, you guys can get the picture here, but at the last day here, I got 301. All right, so let me put this here. All right, that's around $29.20, okay? So you guys understand that Unminable does take a 1% fee, uh, but of course there is like a furl fee where you can do like 0.25 uh, off, like if you use your own referral code or something. And I've been using like Brandon Coins referral, so the fee has gone down to 0.75 from 1%. But I wanna come back to that. So now guys, I wanna show you the difference on litecoinpool.org, which this is where it's mining Litecoin and then merge mining Dogecoin, but then Litecoin pool is auto converting uh, the Dogecoin into Litecoin. So you can see the past 24 hours here, I have 0.3934 Litecoin. So let's go to the calculator here on CoinGecko. And that Litecoin is worth $30.14. So I'm just trying to figure out here on Unminable there was never a day where I hit over $30, right? I put the, you know, 29.20 cents here on the last day on Unminable. And so it just seems like it's very, I would say, underwhelming on Unminable. And I can understand the 1% fee and then also, I guess, or 0.25% fee for referral. And then I feel like there's also some fees or a spread of, exchanging from the Litecoin to Dogecoin, wherever Unminable is doing that. I don't know what exchange that they're doing that on or how they're doing that, that maybe they have their own systems, but it just seems like it's it's pretty underwhelming. And so the previous week, like bef like the day before I started going on Unminable, that, you know, I used to get around 0.39 to 0.42 uh, Litecoin every day from the L7 on litecoinpool.org, right? So. 0.4278, if we just put that in here, 0.4278, that would be worth $32.78. So it does seem like litecoinpool.org is paying me more in terms of the fiat value versus what Unminable is paying me in Dogecoin, right? Straight Dogecoin. And if you guys haven't watched that video, the reasons why I am trying Unminable and I thought I was going to do it full time, but I'm kind of getting this FOMO feeling, get that, you know, I'm missing out on the know extra dollar two dollar maybe extra couple dollars in you know litecoin that i versus the dogecoin that i was getting on unminable that's a pretty big difference like over time 
I would say maybe like a month, obviously that would could be anywhere from 20 to $30 of a, of a loss compared to if I was mining on litecoinpool.org, which on litecoinpool.org, it's 0% PPS, zero fees, apparently. And so comparing it to the 0.75 or 1% on Unminable plus whatever other, you know, the, their exchanging of the Litecoin into Dogecoin that I was trying, it seems just underwhelming in my opinion. And you guys can give me some of your opinions down below. I've never done this test before, like a comparison between Unminable versus whatever. And, you know, I've, I feel like I should do another test of putting the L7 on uh, nice hack or I'm uh, sorry, nice hash and just seeing if, you know, in terms of BTC, in the fiat value if that i'm getting you know a decent amount more or less compared to litecoinpool.org but i've been talking with a few people and a lot of people say yeah they've done some tests too and they say that litecoinpool.org does seem to pay out more more so than other mining pools uh, that are if you're just you know straight mining uh, litecoin and then merge mining dogecoin so you're getting paid out in both coins but some of you do know i did used to mine on Poolin until they had that like IOU uh, debacle, you know, a couple of months ago. And I had some funds on there and they turned it into IOUs, which is, which was just stupid. So I stopped mining on Poolin. But there are a bunch of other mining pools here, like F2 Pool that do merge mine Dogecoin as well. Like every pool here can do merge mine Dogecoin and the option of being paid out in Litecoin on some of the pools. But simply looking at the, the fees for Ant Pool, F2 Pool, Poolin, Binance, it's, you know, 3%, 4%, 3%, 4%. So anyone on these pools, if you guys can, you know, do like a little comparison here, uh, are you guys getting in the, in the dollar amount, okay, 30, 30 to $32 in Dogecoin and Litecoin on these other mining pools, right? Have to pull, pull in. If you guys are on that, let me know. For anyone that has an L7, of course. But but the one I have currently is a 9,300 mega hash version. But it looks like the past 24 hours, it's, it's been at 9,600 so I don't know what's going on there, but it's just simply interesting to see that I'm, you know, the, the, the profits here that I was getting in Dogecoin on Unminable is not that great. And to be honest, I feel like I'm not that surprised because I have used Unminable in the past and, you know, mining the coin straight versus trying to, you know, mine a more profitable coin into whatever the coin you want on Unminable seemed to be kind of underwhelming. But of course, the greatest thing about Unminable, and I'm not trying to discredit them or anything, and of course they have to make money as well, is that you can mine, you know, a bunch of different GP mineable coins into other non-mineable coins. That's why it's called Unminable. All right, that's that's basically uh, their their biggest thing here. So ultimately, this video that I did about a week ago, six days ago, about I'm doing it, is no longer going to happen because I feel like I'm missing out on that extra what twenty, thirty dollars extra that I could be mining on litecoinpool.org versus unminable. And I'm not sponsored by unminable or sponsored by litecoinpool.org. I'm just giving you guys my real results here that I've been doing now for the past couple of weeks. And I'm just trying to find which is the most, essentially most profitable one for me because a lot of you guys voted to mine on litecoinpool.org and sell enough for electric every month and hot all the rest. So I think I'm probably gonna do that and uh, we'll see how long it takes to break even, theoretically, on a Bitmain at Miner L7. Just like a typical person buying one of these right now or maybe uh, three weeks ago when I got it, that's, that's why I'm doing this test, to see how long it could theoretically take to get your money back for someone that was buying an at Miner L7 in the past month. So that is really, honestly, why I'm doing these tests. And I've done many of these types of tests before on many other ASICs, which I've you know, broke even a lot faster, especially in the bull run last year, like some Z15 broke even in like three months. A in a silicon A10 Pro broke even in like three months. Uh, IB Link BMK1 broke even in like, I think two and a half months or something. So this test here for the L7 during this bear market that we are in, it is an interesting thing, you know, for me to do. And as this L7 is profitable at this point in time until more and more of these uh, you know, these ASIC miners come on the market as, you know, people are seeing profitability is really nice right now. Everyone is going to try to get one of these and, you know, mine as much as they can profitably. And, and you know, I, I think it's going to come to a point where we're going to hit that equilibrium of profitability, unprofitability, dependent on the your electrical cost, of course, as more and more of these miners uh, come online. It looks like recently, though, it went from like 646 terahash down to like, 533 terahash and now it's back up to 608 and then now it's down to 567 
something interesting is going on here. I know that a lot of big mining farms could be turning off, you know, uh, depending on their expenses and whatnot. I've been hearing about that a lot lately. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Um, let me know your thoughts about Lycoonpool.org or Unminable. And uh, if you guys want me to do another test, uh, let me know down below. I don't mind. I think this is cool. I wish I had like maybe three or four more of these where I can put one on Unminable, put one on Lycoonpool.org, put one on NiceHash, and put one on, I don't know, another mining pool. That would be pretty cool to do something like that as a test. Obviously, that's a really big expense to buy those miners right now. I was thinking of maybe I could buy another one or two or something, but I don't have that kind of money right now. I don't want to spend that much. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Peace out.